Welcome to Dr. Jester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about this. Bound into comics. Lightyear director confirms that Alphabet character was not part of the early development of the film. So basically, in summary, let me go uh, before I quote him, is that the character was shoved into dry identity politics. It makes them feel better. Simple as that. The true signaling points, where they can actually then exchange those points for protection from the woke mob, the woke inquisition. Ah, there's one sentence from uh, that I watched on Community, which is from the last episode, and which says, and I'm gonna go and quote him on here. Ah, before I, let's see. Either way, let's go. Quote, there is skill to it. More importantly, it has to be joyful, effortless, effortless, fun. TV defeats its own purposes when it's pushing an agenda or trying to defeat other TV or being proud or ashamed of, it, of itself for existing. See the part here where he says, when it's pushing an agenda. Yes, exactly. Pretty much community here actually went on and attacked the TV shows and movies and stuff like that. When it pushes an agenda, what is Lightyear doing? They're not doing it for entertainment. They're not doing it naturally. They're, they're pushing a goddamn fucking agenda. And when you push an agenda, the TV show, the movie, stops being fun and people will get tired of it. I got tired of it. I am not interested in goddamn fucking agenda. It breaks immersion. It destroys everything. Well, uh, like La Brea. It's a good overarching story, but um, the contradictions to pull the... Ah, God damn fucking God. To put a goddamn fucking agenda, it destroyed the franchise. Or destroyed the entire show, because the, the, first, the last episode contradicts this story. All the story in the entire season. Suddenly, they have a... Spoiler alert. They have a big, large building, 10,000 BC. And... Uh, it, it suggests that they actually sent construction workers, uh, construction material and things like that. And... Uh, they obviously have a way to send in stuff that is safe. To pass through the portals. And yet, in the first and the other episodes, it shows that the woman did not know that passing a plane like that into a portal was not safe. Well, and the other, uh, they jump into a, into a hole. Well, you're not gonna take a gun, you're not gonna take supplies on MREs, even though you're miles upon miles far. <coughs> there you go. Allergies. Goddamn motherfucking Christ. Right. Wait a second. Oh, right. When you are miles, of, thousands of miles away from LA, you go and land on Seattle, which was supposed to be covered in nice, but it wasn't. It makes no sense. So what do they do? They prefer to actually pan, uh, pan the demographic to make it uh, watchable to them. <laughs> As if they are going to watch TV! They barely care about it. Hmm. No wonder, they lost quite... Uh, they lost more than a rating in point. And uh, when they, they did a bait and switch on episode 5. Right. Let's go. Here's what the guy said. McLean then opted to go down the road of adding alphabet representation to children's film by adding Alicia as a lesbian character. Well, it was suggest the other to make Alicia a queer character that was also... Oh, wait. Wait. Did I just jump? Hmm. No? 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 Okay. Okay. As a character, there was awesome for two reasons. One, representation. And so Alicia can live her separate life. 
and you're never feeling like this jealousy, dear. Mm, it's more about how she lived the life than Buzz hadn't. Mm. Then, let's see. Would Mark Lane, once Mark Lane um, committed to the character of Alicia, alphabet representation came to him, pre became the priority for the film and uh, on and off screen. Uh, we had a lot of queer personnel in the film. <sighs> There's a thing called over-representation, there's also a thing that I just am so goddamn tired of wokeness. For instance, I'm watching Man vs. B. Nothing woke in that goddamn series. And guess what? It's one of the best TV shows I've watched this year! One of the best! Right alongside the last kingdom! I think it may even topple, topple him. No wokeness, nothing. And that's exactly what one wants. I don't want wokeness. I don't want being pandered or peddled some goddamn fucking narrative or some goddamn fucking retarded nonsense on TV for me. Jesus Christ. I go to watch TV to zone out, to disconnect from the world. I don't want to be <sighs> preached upon. Ah. Uh. Hey kid, you better do this or oh God of the Woke will not like what you're doing. Imagine if you watched a TV show like that where it preaches God will punish for your sins. And teaching kids like that. Yeah, no wonder Christian shows like that in the past in the 90s and 80s did not actually take off that well. Guess what? It's the same thing for the Woke. They are trying to do the same shit. So goddamn tiring, isn't it? So damn tiring. There was another point that I wanted to make, but I actually kind of forgot. Hmm. What was it? Oh yeah, the voice. And then they actually casted somebody else to do the voice of Buzz Lightyear. And the excuse is, ah, but he is based on the actual character of the film that happens inside the Toy Story universe. So the actors is gonna be the appearance. No, you fucking moron. When you actually take a toy that actually comes from a movie and you press a button or something that triggers the sound box inside the toy, what do they do? Do, you, do they actually cast a Chinese guy saying, Oh, you know, you know, like the gun, you sure gun. You think they're going to sound like that instead of saying, mm, mm, uh, got, uh, getting a line from Captain America? On a toy? They're gonna get the exact same quote from the actor from the goddamn fucking movie, insert in the sound of the goddamn fucking toy and play it! That's what it should be, and it is what they do in real life. So, the excuse, the stuff they use as an excuse for why they recast the voice actor of Buzz Lightyear, it just makes absolutely no sense what so goddamn fucking ever. That's just somebody trying to make an excuse for their goddamn fucking shitty politics. Well, no wonder they are actually losing money to the much superior and non-pandering and non-woke movie. Top Gun. Yeah, this one is losing money to Pixar, and I love it. I hope they lose a lot of money, Disney and Pixar. You idiots kind of deserve it, especially after Red. Good lord, that thing was garbage. Right. Right. On that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night.